All right, let's get this thing finished up so we can go ahead and start in the flooring. I'm really excited about the flooring because it's gonna be another custom kind of flooring, but we'll get to that later on. First thing we need to do is finish up the center tune. We gotta drill some holes to mount our carriage bolts. This is what we needed for these mounting hardware right here, this weird cutout area. It slides right in, just like that. We have to undo these bolts, lower it down a little bit, get all this hardware in and aligned. Then we can jack it back up and it should be all ready to be bolted on. We also got to finish bolting on these cross beams on the outside. I was waiting for more hardware for that too. I got all that in. We also need to cut this cross beam right around here for the storages and then bolt it on to this little mount right over here. Uh, we'll do that later on. I'll show you how to do that and then we can move on from there. Once we get the cross beam bolted on and the center tune in place and bolted on too, we can go ahead and move on to other things like the flooring and wood and all that other stuff. Also, I need to install this gas tank. I'm going to go ahead and install that right now in case I can't do it once the floor is on because it's going to slide into this third pontoon right here. I think it'll be able to slide in and out, but I just want to go ahead and put it on right now. That way I don't have to worry about taking the cross beams back off. So let's do that and then move on to flooring after all that's done. All right, the third pontoon is completely mounted. It's all bolted up. The cross beams are all finished. New hardware, a lot of places. I use some of the old hardware just because I kind of ran out, but it's all good. Everything is sturdy in place. I'm keeping the third pontoon on jack stands right now because I don't want to add any extra stress on the cross beams until I build my third pontoon bunks on the trailer. Uh, that's gonna be in a later episode, probably a couple weeks. Uh, just don't want to add any extra stress. It's holding up fine. I don't think it's gonna hurt it anyway, but just for extra precaution, I'm gonna keep them on the jack stands. I'm gonna take an extra second here to talk about some of the comments I had in the last episode about the paint. 
Now, like I said, this was like an experimental thing. The spray paint was something very new to me that I learned about. The reason I didn't add primer, I know a lot of people said I should have added primer beforehand. The reason I didn't is because they didn't and I want to test it out fully how they did it. So that is why I did not add primer to it. Usually you do, especially on aluminum, you add some etching primer or anything like that. And if you're going to use the right kind of bottom paint for boats and pontoons, then you are going to have to add primer and the anti-fouling paint or whatever it is. If you're running to go that route to use the right kind of stuff, there's plenty of videos out there and information if you guys want to learn about that. Now I saw a lot of comments about wrapping the pontoons, which I like. I uh, would love to do that. The pontoons aren't in the best shape though, and if you wrap over this kind of corrosion area, you're going to see it through the wrap. It's not going to look good. Also, wrap is not cheap. I don't know how much information you guys know about wraps, but if you wrap a car, it can cost almost the same amount as just painting a car. It's not cheap, it's gonna cost a couple grand. Just the material to wrap all these would probably be around $1,000. Uh, not cheap, and I think I don't think it would look really great at the end of the day because you can't really wrap around these welds and everything. You can't get it super tight, and then it's only gonna last for maybe five years tops, and then you have to rewrap it, so. Like I said, wrapping is cool. I just don't think it's very cost effective. Uh, if anything, I would have painted the whole pontoons. And that brings up my next comment about painting the whole thing. Like I said, I would love to paint the whole thing black. I think that would look pretty cool, especially with the color contrast I'm going for. But I couldn't paint the top part of it because I don't have these fins welded yet, and I'm still waiting for my welder part to come in. So I wasn't able to paint the whole pontoons that day. You know, it's still an option, but I think it looks perfectly fine the way it is right now. So I'm just gonna move forward and do the decking, and I think it looks fine. Uh, I know a lot of people thought it looked fine too. I just want to address the comments and questions and everything in the last video, but in this video. <laughs> all right, now that that's all the way, we can start working on our decking. We actually have the new flooring in. The flooring is all coming from pontoonstuff.com. Shipped directly to your house. Don't have to worry about going out to Lowe's or Home Depot, or I don't even know where you can get marine grade plywood. I know a lot of it is sold out in a lot of places and it is very expensive right now, but pontoon stuff still has the most affordable stuff and it came with a kit, so it's gonna come with everything I need, the screws, the wood, the flooring material, the glue, this tape stuff. This tape stuff is actually what you put between the joints of the wood to keep water from splashing up in and coming through your floor. You put that down on every single joint spot, so I'm gonna take up all this stuff and put down new stuff. So we'll do that beforehand. If I have extra, I'm gonna put them on the extra cross beams just for extra protection. It's a nice layer to add between the wood and the aluminum to prevent any kind of corrosion or anything. Not necessary, but if you have extra, you can go ahead and do that. So I might go ahead and do that. Here's all the wood I needed. It came in the pallet. It was obviously a lot cleaner. We had to take it off and move it onto a new pallet because the other pallet was broken or something. Uh, either way, showed it to my house, pulled it up into my driveway. Simple, very easy. Uh, I like very simple and easy stuff. Don't have to worry about going anywhere and bringing a trailer to get all your wood and stuff you need, but that's beside the point. This is eight and a half foot long decking. A lot of pontoons are normally eight foot wide. They sell the eight foot wide decking and the eight and a half foot wide decking at pontoonstuff.com and it comes with the flooring and everything. And we'll talk about the actual flooring whenever we get to that point. We're gonna get all this wood mounted and screwed on first before then. So that's up next. We're gonna carry out all this wood one by one and mount it on. Make sure everything is lined up before we start screwing it into it. First thing I wanna do is clean up these cross beams, get all the old corrosion and glue and everything off of it. And then we'll start bringing out the wood and mounting it up. So let's do it. Stop wasting time.
the wood is all on it's all screwed on it's all cut out the storage spot is cut out corners are all cut out screwed in all the screw holes are filled and along with the cracks I filled those too a lot of that's not really necessary like some of these like little tiny spots not necessary at all to fill in because the glue is gonna fill a lot of that in and also the foam on the back of the vinyl flooring will cover a lot of that stuff a lot of this stuff isn't really necessary but do it just in case so you don't actually see it in like see any ripples or anything all right it's all ready for the vinyl flooring i went with vinyl flooring because it looks i think it looks better than carpet carpet is kind of old school i think you know you don't really want carpet to be wet and you don't have carpet in your bathrooms or anything like that so i go with vinyl flooring because I, I think it looks better um a lot of people are worried about the heat and i live in florida so i think you can trust me when i say it doesn't get super hot you know it does get a little warm sometimes you got to get in the shade a little bit or jump in the water but i think the pros outweigh the cons and like the whole looking aspect and aesthetic of it i think it looks a lot better and feels a lot better too now going back to what i said in the first video of this series i'm doing like a different kind of layout the front is going to be all seating area it's going to be like a u-shaped seating and then also a fire pit up there we'll talk later about all that stuff and then back here is going to be the bar along with the steering console and everything right here and then like some other stuff back here not really sure design layout yet but it's gonna be two separate areas so more like relaxed area up here and then this is more like the party kind of chilling grill area and stuff like that so explaining all that leads me back to the flooring i want to separate it to make it feel like separate areas so more of like a relaxing area more of like a grilling bar area so i got two different kinds of vinyls the one vinyl is from pontoon stuff it came with this kit so it comes with the wood screws all the hardware you need for the whole flooring so i'm gonna have a little bit extra and then i bought this other kind of flooring that's gonna go back here uh, I'll have to show it to you. I can't really explain what it looks like. It's kind of similar to my last pontoon, but it's a different color. It has the wood looking stripes in it. And then this has just like a normal weave pattern up here. <laughs> I don't know if I explained that very well, but it's going to be kind of separate flooring and different kinds of patterns. That way it shows a separation of areas of the boat. That way it's all not just one cohesive design. I think it's going to look cool in my head and Hopefully it does, because if not, it's gonna be a really expensive fix. <laughs> so, but I think it's gonna look cool and I think it's gonna work out really good. First thing you have to do for this flooring is lay out all your glue, spread it out, and then kind of fold it and do it in sections because in Florida, it's gonna get really hot. The glue is gonna dry really fast. So I need to do it pretty quickly. Also gonna look at the radar because it's supposed to rain today. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have and I don't want it to like mess up or anything. So make sure I'm good to go for the rest of the day and then we can move on to putting this flooring down.
Well, let's hope the rain didn't ruin it. I checked the radar, I kept checking it, and it says it wasn't gonna rain till later, and then all of a sudden it just poured. And so, sucks, but I think it dried in time. It dried for a few hours beforehand, so I think it's okay. But other than the rain, I absolutely love how it turned out, exactly what I was envisioning. So, like I said, back here has a different kind of flooring. This is all the bar area and like grill and stuff. I don't know what's going exactly going back here, but the bar is gonna be right here. And then on this side is the captain's chair, the captain's helm, and all the seating up here. I think it just looks really good, exactly what I wanted. You can tell it has like a whole different vibe to it, like almost like a house, like that's the kitchen and this is like the living room. And this flooring is different. This is just regular vinyl flooring, so it doesn't have like the foam underneath. And this is like the teak woven vinyl flooring that has the foam underneath. So this feels really good. It feels like you're walking into like a living room because it has like a little bit of extra cushion. This is just normal vinyl, but it's marine grade vinyl, so it should be fine outside. Now this vinyl you can get at pontoonstuff.com. It comes with your whole kit if you want to order a kit with it, or you can just buy the vinyl itself. They have a couple other options. This vinyl, however, is from marine grade discount vinyl flooring. <laughs> I'll put the actual name up on the screen. This was very expensive though. This is only a 10 foot roll and it was around $500. I'm going to do the actual price breakdown at the very end of the build like normal, but this was pretty expensive compared to this stuff. And I'll throw a little price comparison so you guys can see how much the price difference is. And this isn't like as good of quality, I think, as the other stuff. It's still pretty good. You know, I when I rolled it out originally, I didn't think it looked that great, but now that I'm seeing it all rolled out, it looks pretty good. It has like a very cool wood pattern to it. I installed this little runner piece. This is normally for like separating carpet between rooms or like carpet and vinyl in your in your house. But this is made out of aluminum, so it should be fine for marine grade stuff. I think it'll be okay. You may notice it's not exactly long enough, but that's okay because the bar is gonna go right here. So a lot of this is actually gonna cut off and just covered. So no big deal. Same thing over here. The trim on the outside is gonna be covered right there. So I have to do a little trimming right here. The storage door is all installed. This is actually a used storage door from like a ski boat or something. Bar and eBay, I could not find like new ones anywhere, especially the size I needed. So this is exactly the length I needed, but you can tell it has a little bit of an overhang on each side, but it'll work for what I'm using it for. I'm gonna store a little extra stuff in there. I'm not really too concerned about it. Also have people commenting on the water situation. Yeah, you have to install a bilge pump in here. I'm just waiting to find the right one and I'll have to do all the wiring and stuff. So not really too worried about it right now, but that's all gonna be cleaned out and a bilge pump in there. So if it ever rains, you can get the water out. It looks so good though. I'm really excited to start throwing the furniture on here and building the bar and building the fire pit and building all this stuff to make it kind of complete because it it's starting to look better but you can still tell it's you don't really know what's going on so hopefully i explained it pretty well for you guys i didn't really know how to explain what i was doing but you get the idea now i stapled around the edges with some stainless steel staples just to keep it stretched out and so it won't like fold up or have any wrinkles in it i don't know if that's necessary but i do it just in case i did it on my last boat and did it on this one too i did it around everywhere even in the seam right here underneath this trim it's all stapled on underneath the storage area too I'm still waiting on my trim to come in. It's on back order from Pontoon Stuff right now. A lot of people ordered it, so waiting for more to come in and then I'll have that ready. Once I put that on, then we can start putting the fencing on and the seats and then it's pretty quick from after that. And then we'll have to do a lot of custom building with the whole fire pit and bar and everything. But tell me what you guys think. Is it better than my last flooring? <laughs> the last time I did some custom flooring, it didn't work out too well, but I think this is gonna work out perfectly fine. So 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and like. And also if you don't have me on Instagram yet, you can check me out there. I post a lot behind the scenes on my story and everything and give you a heads up when I'm posting. Check me out there if you want to. If not, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next week. Bye.